scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, managed by Bobby the Brain Heenan, weighing 238 pounds, Tully Blanchard. Tully Blanchard. telling he'll be just what he is right now a maniac yes but will he be able to team up effectively with his teammates the anvil and the rockers no matter how good you are individually you're gonna have to know how to function as a unit thanksgiving night now that's a mistake come on rancher should know better than that hey he's got to test the guy out yeah man proof's in the pudding Look at the aggressiveness. Blanchard charging right back in. He's trying to set him up for something. Blanchard's very cagey. Blanchard puts on the brakes, backs off a bit. You set the pace by him. You set the pace. Oh, sure. That's easy to say on the outside. Ah, look at Blanchard going for a... Let's forget all about it, says Tully. Sure. Oh, not too smart. Blanchard trying to get out of Dodge. The Warrior won't let him. Warrior hauls Blanchard back in. Ooh, wow. Thumb to the eye. I always like that move, McMahon. Yeah, you would. No matter how big a guy is, you can always slow him down. Emory. Those punches apparently not having too much behind them, though. Chop to the throat area, and the warrior just keeps coming. Blanchard needs to wrestle him, not brawl with him. Blanchard joining his brain buster partner, Arn Anderson, along with Haku and Andre the Giant, the Heenan family, against the Warriors. Look at that maneuver. Ooh, all the way to the outside. When the Warrior went to the buckle, you're moving. Yeah, I knew it. He'd have to go to the floor. Well, that's exactly what the Warrior does. You go outside, you'll go outside. You come back inside, you'll come inside. You go out to the fans, you'll go out there. It doesn't matter to the Warrior. He'll take it to the parking lot. Blanchard's trying to stay in the ring, make a wrestling match out of it. That's a yeah, awesome. Good work, and look at that maneuver. Sidestep by the Warrior, momentum of the Badger, and he went flying out of there. And Bobby Heenan can't believe what he's seeing. Heenan has had problems with the Brain Busters. What are you talking about? Doesn't look like there's any problems here to me. Oh, look, Blanchard wants to call it quits. Blanchard wants to call it quits, and Heenan is a warning to. And look out, here's the Warrior. Blanchard's gonna come back, all right. Blanchard's gonna come back the hard way. The guy is strong. You can't yeah, doubt that. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's What's he gonna do? do? Yeah. Warrior uncharacteristic from the top rope. And he did coming back. You know there's dissension among the ranks in the Heenan family, don't you, Jesse? No, I don't know that. Come on, yes, you do, too. Why would I know that? You're supposed to know everything. Hey, I don't ever claim to know everything, McMahon. I just certainly know more than you. Well, then, I've been told there is dissension. What do you know about? Who told you that? I can't divulge that. Why? What do you know about it? Have you heard the same thing or not? No, you answer me. Why? Why can't you divulge who told you? Because the person 
told me this in confidence. Oh. Of course, you, and of course, McMahon, you will honor anybody's confidence like that. Of course. You want to go around and betraying confidence. Yeah, that, that's an Ivy League trait, I'm sure. You learned that at Harvard. What do you mean, learned it? You don't learn anything. That's true, you don't. Look at Blanchard rallying back here on the Warrior. Warrior did a buckle, Blanchard moves him in, and unfortunately, he moved into a clothesline. Warrior! Oh, wow. Nice he caught him. By Blanchard. Very good move. See, Tully got caught up in all this. If he wrestled the Warrior, move, get away from him, make him chase him, he'd be a lot more successful. Bobby Heenan yelling at Tully Blanchard. And going for the suplex. No, blocked by the Warrior. A warrior! Nicely executed. Warrior to the rope. What's he going to do to him? This is with the elbow. See, Blanchard's making a much better match out of this than you thought he would, McMahon. Yeah? I don't know about that. Imagine now, in the Survivor Series, if the Warrior gets caught like that, misses an elbow, and let's say then Tully Blanchard tags Andre. That's a good point. Blanchard, a little lobby in the top rope. Ooh, what a power slam by the Warrior. Wow, what a maneuver. What's Heenan doing? Heenan's telling him, get out of the ring, get out of here. No, no he's calling somebody else. Tony yes. Badger goes out. Oh, come on. Oh, Hurt Anderson from the hood. That's the chops out of the way. And that's exactly what could happen in the Survivor Series. Right what you're seeing now. The big, tough warrior getting double teamed by the Brain Busters. That could happen, that's true.